Early Access provided by EA Fire Monkeys, presented by EA Game Changers. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to explain how the Influence Island event works. So this is a brand new feature which will be available in August 2020 since Replay Update. And this is Season 1, so we can assume there's going to be many seasons to come. But they all work the same way, so I'm going to complete this event and show you how it works as we go. To begin with we have a little tutorial to complete, so the first task is tap the event button in the active task menu. The active task menu can be found at the bottom of your screen by your sims picture and here you can see all your events. So the influence island one is at the top and it's pulsing so it's that button next to the event tab. And that takes you to the island. The next task is tap the menu in the top left corner. So this is the island where you complete the influence island event. So there's loads of sims on it, there's 10 in total and also a rival. We'll explain that in more detail a bit later. But you can only have one sim here at a time. Currently don't have any sims at the island. So let's tap that button in the corner and you can see the first tab is your clan progress. So the aim of the event is to advance seven of the sims on the island to clan mate status. So you need to complete challenges with them to influence them to become your clan mate. I'll explain that in more detail as we go along. The next task is with an adult sim, greet the grouch. The grouch is the rival for season one, so if you start this in season two, I'm sure it will say greet someone else. So use the sim tracker to bring an adult sim to the island and then select the option on the grouch. The rival sim is your competition, so they are also trying to convince sims to join their clan but they do it at a much slower rate and you can also convert them to your side once they have been influenced by the rival but the rival cannot then influence them back to their side view prizes in the gift shop tab so go back to the button in the corner of the screen and the second tab along is the gift shop completing challenges earns you network credits and these can be spent in the gift shop there are 10 common prizes and five rare prizes the rare prizes cannot be unlocked until you've claimed all of the common prizes. I'll explain about the gift shop a bit later on when we check out all the prizes. But for now, let's start a challenge. So tap a target contestant. So click on any of the sims on the island when you've got an adult sim there. They all currently have a neutral face above their head. This means they are neutral status with your sim. Start a challenge. So we've selected one of the sims. We've selected Izzy fabulous from the sims mobile it will come up with a little profile before we start it shows you who this sim is the clan status currently and the rewards that you get for each round you are aiming to complete three challenges to get them from neutral to friends friends to ally and ally to clan mates on here you can also purchase the survival kit i'll explain that in more detail later it also explains how bribes works so this is part of the survival kit so if you use it within 15 points of success, then they will succeed. We've also got the chocolate bar. So you get three each challenge, so use them wisely. This gives you between two and nine points. And again, you can't fail if you use the chocolate. It will make more sense when I show you how a challenge works. So let's get started and click start challenge. Tap the charm action. So this will be a different action for you because they are different each time. On the left hand side of the screen you have the influence bar, so this is how much your influence has increased by. You need to get it within the green zone to successfully complete that round and successfully influence that sim. On the other side you have your actions. So this shows you a limit, so the charm one on here is between 20 and 45, so that will increase my bar between those two points. So I have 34 by doing that option. Select the Woo action. So again, this will be different for you. It should be the longest option again. So that is between 20 and 45 points. So let's click on that to do it again. And that time it gave us 21. So we now have 55 points. We're still in the neutral area. The next task is complete the round. So we need to select an option which will get us into the green zone. We don't want to get into the red zone. That will be too much and we will fail this challenge. I'm going to go for the flatter option, which is again between 20 and 45. It's quite a lot, but if you do the maths, we will, we will be safe and we will hit that green zone. Perfect. So that increased it by 41 and we completed that round. So at the end of the round, you'll see a screen 
that shows you how many network credits you've earned so far but these are stored in your basket so you haven't earned them yet you need to successfully complete the whole challenge to be able to earn those credits if you fail around you'll lose the credits that are stored in your basket use actions to reach the rival zone you'll notice on the bar this time there is a yellow zone this is where the rival sim has spoken to the contestant beforehand and influence them up to a certain point. So the aim here is to beat the rival and influence them more. So you can either try and aim for the green section or if you reach the yellow section there will be another action to complete. So we've reached the yellow section that completes that task. Next we can either complete with actions or stop and convince. So you'll see at the top on the right hand side there is a new action that appears when you reach the yellow zone. This is stop and convince. So you can either click that and hope that you've influenced them more than the rival or you can complete with actions to try and reach the green zone. You'll notice that the second option is now greyed out. This is because it will increase it too far and you will fail. So there's no point you even trying to use that one. I've got as far as I can with actions so I'm going to click stop and convince and you can see the rival section increasing up. You just need to be higher than where the rival lands to complete that round. Keep influencing to build your clan. So this is the last task. You will need to convert 7 sims on the island to clan mates within the 10 day time limit to be able to unlock the grand prize. As we already know you start off as a neutral status with the sims on the island. But as you complete each challenge, you'll reach a different relationship status with that sim. So you start off as neutral, and to get to friends, this is six rounds. To get from friends to ally, that is eight rounds. And to get from ally to clanmate, that is ten rounds. So you will need to complete at least three challenges with each sim to reach clanmate status. In this video, I'm going to get to clanmate status with Izzy just to show you how it works. So we have completed four rounds so far. So there's two more rounds before we are friends. If you played the Sims Mobile Sweet Treat Showdown events, then it's sort of a similar vibe. But this one I think is a little bit easier because you've got the amounts down the side. You know roughly how much it will increase by. So you've got more of an idea whether you're going to succeed or fail really. But it's the same concept with the basket of prizes that you don't unlock until you've completed the whole challenge. At this point I think it's fairly safe to use the stop and convince as we're only one point away from the green zone. But if you do land on the same point as the rival, you will win that round. We've got one more round until they become friends now, so let's hope we complete this. That was very risky for me to choose that option, but it seems to have worked. Great, so they are now friends. A pop-up appears to show that that challenge is complete and they are now friends. You can see above Izzy's head, there now is the friend symbol. Whereas the other two sims in this picture are still neutral. You can also see from the menu and the clan progress tab, above Izzy's head there you see the friend symbol. So next step we need to get Izzy from friend to ally. So this is eight rounds this time. So let's click start challenge and get going. This is the part where it gets a little bit tricky and you're not sure where to go from here. I mean stop and convince would probably have been the better option for that one but instead we've reached the red zone so we have failed. So that is the end of that challenge but you can progress for social points which is what I'm going to do so we can just get through this. If you end now you'll lose the 
points that you've earned so far for this challenge so we will lose the 30 so that's 12 for round one and 18 for round two but if you do use social points you'll go straight on to the third round or whichever is the next round for you as this is the early access version i'm going to use the social points to speed through these rounds just so i can show you getting one sim all the way to clan mate but i will show you later on what happens if you do fail and explain some of the things around that as well Again we're at a tricky point, I think we should try out the chocolate this time. So the chocolate will increase us by between 2 and 9 points, so don't waste it until you're close to the goal. It won't cause you to hit the red zone, so you don't have to worry about that. It is limited, but you do get free for every challenge, so use them wisely. I accidentally clicked pep talk for this one so I knew that was going to happen. I meant to pick the other option. Oops. So you can see if we end the challenge now we will lose 108 network credits. But we're going to pay our social points to reach round 5. This was my first playthrough at this and one thing I learnt from playing it all the way through after this point was it's usually better to go for stop and convince than it is to go for the 1 to 20 points option. Well you can see this time we don't even have a green option. So it gets even more tricky. We need to get as close to the red line as possible and then click stop and convince and hopefully we'll be alright. That was quite easy, that one. Sometimes they can be very close to the line, the rival one, which is quite frustrating. Also, when you get to the last couple of rounds, take a look at how many chocolates you have left. If you've got, say, two available, it might be worth using one. That one didn't really help me that much. <laughs> but the chocolates replenish every challenge, so you get to the last round and you've got chocolate remaining, it's definitely worth using it. Now at this point I should have used my chocolate, I didn't. And I failed. But even if you fail on the last round of the challenge, you can still claim your earnings using social points. So we are now allies. Let's just pretend I didn't fail any of that and it was all perfect. So you can now see the ally symbol on the clan progress and above that sim on the island. So we now need to complete the final challenge, which has 10 rounds in it, to go from ally to clanmates and then that will be one of our seven sims at clanmate status. This is a good point to talk about so we're at the very edge of the yellow zone so let's click stop and convince and you can see the rival is also at that same point so we still win even though the rival was at the same point as us. While we're watching this I'm going to talk to you about the survival kit. So the survival kit can be bought for real money. I assume that you have to buy it every single time there's an event like you usually do with these things. The survival kit contains tools to help you win your challenges. So you get an extra chocolate bar per round, so instead of three you'll have four. You'll get 1000 bonus network credits. 
and the survival tip action to be used once per round that gives 10 influence points. So if you know you need about 10 points then you can click on that to get that exact amount of points added. You also get 10 bribes which when your sim is within 15 points of success it will guarantee success. Like with the chocolate bar the bribes won't cause you to hit the red zone. My least favourite rounds are the ones where there's no green zone at all, it's just straight to red from yellow. Yeah, it doesn't really change how it works, you still have to get as close to the red as possible. But what happens if the rival is like on 100 points? That would be quite unfair. Oh, I think I'm going to have to stop and convince. Oh no, that really didn't work. So the rival is ahead of us this time. So they've convinced the sim more than us. So we have lost that challenge. I was doing so well with that one as well. Oh well. That should be enough to stop and convince now. Perfect. So final round, round 10. Oh, 91. It's got to be the chocolate. We've got to use that. Perfect. That's the way to complete a round of this. Fabulous. So we now have one clan mate. So the aim of the game is to get seven clan mates before the 10 day time limit is up. There is a grand prize if you manage to get all seven clan mates in the time limit. These are the season one prizes, so obviously they'll be different with each season. These are cafeteria themed items. The makers have made this so if you aren't really interested in the grand prize then you can still just go for the prizes in the gift shop. I'll show you those in a minute. So if you want the gift shop prizes you don't have to get seven sims to clan mates. You can just complete challenges with them to earn your network credits. At the top you can see we have no more challenges for at least another eight hours. So you get three and then you have to wait eight hours for them to refill. We've taken a look at the second tab long, we'll have another look at that in a minute when we talk about the prizes. The third tab is the Influence Island tips. So if you do get stuck, you can check out these tips for more information. I don't know about you, but I did find this quite difficult to understand without seeing the gameplay, so that's why I had one sim get all the way to clan mate status. But if you're still stuck, it's definitely a lot easier to understand as you play it yourself. So definitely give it a go.
In the gift shop, you can spend your network credits. So there are 10 common prizes and five rare prizes. These change every season. So these are the ones for season one. Each common prize costs 500 network credits to spin. And each rare prize costs 720 network credits each. So you click to spin and you will get one at random. So you won't get any duplicates. So once you have that item, you'll be able to find it in whatever section of the store it says it will be in and then you can spin again to find another one of the prizes so it removes the prizes that you've already got so you won't get any of the same you need to claim all of your common prizes before you can open any of the rare prizes right now I'm just going to spin for all of the common prizes just so you can see all of them for season one and find out where you can get them from while I show you these prizes, I'm going to talk about how many network credits you can earn from each of the challenges. So, neutral to friends, you can earn 400 network credits in total. Friend to ally earns you 600, and ally to clan mate earns you 1000. So if you manage to complete all three challenges without any fails, you'll be able to earn 2000 network credits from converting one sim to clan mate. So it should be possible to earn all the network credits you need to be able to spin for all of these prizes. That is the final common prize, so we can now spin for the rare prizes. So there are five available. Each prize has two items in that one prize. So again, it costs 720 to spin for each of the rare prizes. We now have five sims at clanmate status, so we've definitely got enough network credits to be able to purchase the last three of these prizes. You will need 8,600 network credits to be able to claim all of these prizes. Once the event is over, any remaining network credits will be converted into simoleons. You don't have to claim all of these prizes before you've converted all seven of your clan mates. You can do it afterwards, but you just need to do it in the 10 day time limit. Let's talk about getting to and from the island. So if your sim is at the island and you want them to leave, you can just click on the button on the sim tracker and they will go home. To get back to the island, go to your active tasks again and click on the button next to the influence island event and it will take you back to the island. And again, click on the whistle on the sim tracker to bring a sim back to the island. You can only have one sim at the island at a time. Your sims can complete three challenges before they have to wait eight hours for it to refill but you can start a new challenge early for social points. So I'm just going to show you what happens if you fail. And believe me, it took a long time to fail with this sim. It's typical, when you don't want to fail, you do. When you want to fail, you don't. You can see that we actually got to the ally status before I actually failed. So you'll see the challenge over screen so if you click end challenge, you'll lose the 50 network credits you earned for this challenge so far. So let's click that and it will say, are you sure? So you lose all the credits and your progress towards that challenge, but you will get 10 network credits just for playing. But you will still be the status that you were already with that sim. So we were allies, so he stays as an ally, it doesn't decrease it. If you've decided that you've got enough network credits out of that challenge, you can always quit and collect early. If you do this, you'll collect what's in your basket so far. So for this one, if I quit and collect after two rounds, I will earn 30 network credits. So let's do that. And you'll see that you don't, again, decrease the status with that sim. So we still have to complete those two rounds again the next time if we wanted to try and become an ally with Belagon. The final thing I want to show you is completing this event. So I have six sims at clanmate status now. We have one more sim to get there 
Santa is at the ally status, so we just need to complete the final challenge with Santa, the 10 round challenge, to have 7 sims at clanmate status and earn us the grand prize. You may have noticed this one's moving faster. At this point, I was clicking on the screen after clicking the action to get rid of the animation in between to get through this challenge a bit quicker. probably tell that I've learned a lot since my first attempt with Izzy. I seem to be doing a lot better this time. Or maybe it's just luck, I'm not sure. We're on round six and I haven't used the chocolate yet. I think it's about time we did. Perfect. So we should be able to stop and convince now and complete this. Yep, that's great. You can move the camera around a bit, it's a bit difficult. It doesn't seem to move that great, maybe it's just the early access version. But you can turn the camera angle around. Oh, that reminds me, have you noticed that we're actually at a different view? Usually we see the game from above, we're actually seeing it more from the Sims point of view in this event. So we should be able to get some great screenshots. Oh, I don't want to jinx this, but we seem to be doing pretty well. Oh, that is like the perfect round. I wish all rounds were like that. So finally, round 10. Can we do it? Can we make it through? Oh, I'm a bit nervous at this point. Our only option really is to stop and convince. Oh, oh 92. Oh, that's great. Fantastic. So we now have seven clan mates. So we have completed the main goal of this event and we have unlocked the grand prize. If at this point you still have gift shop items to claim, then you can do that. Otherwise, you have completed the event and you'll get this pop up to show that you have won. I really love the dance moves our Sims got there. It also tells you where you can find your grand prize items as well. And once the event is over, if you've got any network credits remaining, they will be cashed out and turned into simoleons. So you get 10 simoleons for every network credit, which is pretty good actually. And that completes the Influence Island event. Your sim will head home and you won't be able to return to the island until a new event begins. The prizes will change every time, but the event itself will stay the same. And that is how the Influence Island works on The Sims Free Play. This brand new event will be added in the August 2020 update. If you found my Influence Island video helpful, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I regularly post Sims Free Play videos. I also have a blog, thegoalgames.blog, and on there you can find loads of posts about The Sims Free Play and The Sims Mobile. Thanks for watching. Bye!